Okay, so Kritika has asked a very good question. So there was a patient who has a, a large amount of blood loss uh, post-operatively and intraoperatively. HE fell to somewhere around six, and the, all the blood transfusion and fluid resuscitation was done. The noradrenaline is now on eight ml per hour, and the patient is a ventilator. And now the norad is getting tapered off. So she asked whether we can extubate the patient as of now because he's uh, he's all, uh, conscious and he's doing fine and urine output is good, MAP is maintaining and the NORAD is tapering but it is not completely weaned off. It is somewhere around 8 ml per hour and it is gradually tapering off. So whether we can extubate this patient or not. So understand that whenever you uh, read the uh, weaning protocols of uh, ventilator, what is written is patient should be hemodynamically stable either off vasopressors or in the low vasopressors in a tapering manner, in a tapering uh, trend. So understand, one approach is some wean or extubate the patient only when the, all the vasopressors have been weaned off and the patient doesn't require any support to maintain the blood pressure. But uh, what happens with this is there is an unnecessary delay in the extubation uh, for some patients and with the complications of uh, web or uh, sedations protocols and all those things uh, happens and there is a slight delay in the extubation now what is the most accepted uh, 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 what is the most accepted manner in which we can wean is if the patient is on low dose vasopressors and the trend is of tapering down not increasing up Maybe a patient is on low dose vasopressors, but the vasopressor trend is that the vasopressors are constantly increasing. So, so this should not be there. The patient should be on low dose vasopressors and it should be in a tapering trend. Now, what do you mean by low dose vasopressors? So, low dose vasopressors is less than 0.1 microgram per kg per minute. So, somewhere it comes around to 0.4 mg per hour. Now, if you made a single strength uh, noradrenaline solution, which is 4 uh, mg in that single ampule or 2 ml ampule in 50 cc uh, syringe, then it turns out to be 1 ml contains 0 0.08 mg. So, when you calculate it to reach 0 0.4 mg, it is 5 ml per hour. So, single strength noradrenaline, if it is uh, on, uh, on or less than 5 ml per hour and the trend is in a decreasing trend, it is gradually tapering off, we can extubate uh, the patients. So this is what you should uh, understand and uh, apply in your clinical practice based on the guidelines. So thank you for asking. Do read more about it.